Mamu, hi, Kamustika, welcome, how are you? This is Bob from Love Beyond the Sea. I'm sure by now you've heard the Philippines is reopening for tourism. On February 10th, those that are vaccinated can go to the Philippines and um, they don't have to go through that quarantine of any length of time. They've done away with the red, green, yellow lane classifications. And so, uh, you know, if you want to be making plans to go to the Philippines, maybe you've, you're just starting on this journey. Maybe you've wanted to go for a year or two, but just haven't been able to with the country shut down. Well, very, very soon, less than two weeks, you can make your travel plans to go. If you're vaccinated without uh, having to quarantine, that was one of my bigger uh, deals. And um, so I don't know if you have to get a PCR test to get back in the country. That's not something I came across when all this news started coming out. But the good news is it's just uh, 48 hour hours before you, you leave your country for the Philippines and you have to have a negative PCR. I just had one and it took three days to get back, exactly 72 hours before they called me. So I don't know, I'm, I wish it was more like 72 days, but it's 48 days. I don't know if you can go earlier than that. We plan on going now again in December of this year, 2022. We we're hoping to go last year. Couldn't do it. We we're hoping to go in March of this year. Had to cancel because things weren't looking good. And now we'll keep our fingers crossed and pray that we can be able to go to the Philippines in December. And there's nothing that comes up that interferes with that. So um, that's, you know, one thing I wanted to say was now we can go with more firm travel plans and then we'll just see what happens uh, with the uh, COVID situation. So that's something for us to look forward to. And I know for you, many of you out there, that's going to be something for you to look forward to as well. We, we've got most of our bags packed already since we planned on going a couple times. So uh, that's also good. And hopefully... Um, with the Philippines opening up again, this channel of Beyond the Sea will start to do better. It's been in a major uh, slide since COVID started. And that was also the last time we were in the Philippines and right before this started and then things just, you know, fell apart uh, by and large. So I'm um, coming up on a four, <coughs> excuse me, still sick, four year anniversary for, um, Love Beyond the Sea YouTube channel, and um, so I hope that with the Philippines opening up again, that that helps the channel. I, I it was doing much much better. I've been on TikTok lately. I just started that like probably six seven weeks ago, and the videos there are um, you know getting fifty to two hundred times more views, and I'm getting a lot more comments over there, a lot more likes. All that stuff you, you work for your YouTube channel for, and, and that's really been uh, struggling. But uh, TikTok's doing well. I have podcasts that you can get on, subscribe to on Podbean. They're in the description box of all the videos. You can see all about that. So uh, I am just uh, wanted to share with everybody else that's looking forward to going to the Philippines that now you reasonably can assume that you can go to the Philippines unless something else comes up with um, COVID like more more variants let's hope not I've been vaccinated I've been boosted and I still got got COVID so who knows I don't think that's supposed to really happen either so I'm gonna also before I forget just change the channel name not completely but the back end I'm gonna add American Filipina style so it would be love beyond the sea American Filipina style so that's should be in effect right now and so those are just some thoughts you guys will no doubt get all the information you need on the opening of the Philippines I'm just here you know say my piece that I'm happy that it came and this soon because it didn't look very good but we have plans we've had plans hopefully we're gonna be able to go and hopefully you're gonna be able to go too especially if you've been longing to see somebody that you've been communicating with and you can't get out there, um, which makes you wonder all kinds of things, like how long are they going to wait for me? 
um, and that sort of thing. So things are opening up. Um, it's going to be good for tourists and hopefully will also uh, be good for this YouTube channel, Love Beyond the Sea.